all right so now i'll take a color and it's time to discuss more about biological databases okay so biological database okay short form of database db that's what we write okay so what are databases we have been using this term for a long time now we know that uh, databases are what electronic uh, what you can say electronic is is an analogy like a drawer you know in drawers we can organize thing so just like in electronic drawer or cabinet system where we can store our data okay and uh, we can retrieve those data whenever we need them whatever kind of so for different specific type of data we have specific database for open reading frame data we have orf database for single nucleotide polymorphism data we have snp database so we have different kinds of database for example the database for for proteins also there are structural database there are sequence database sequence database is the one from where we get the sequence of uh, the primary sequence of proteins and structural database is where we get the topology of the proteins like that okay so what are some common biological databases and uh, their types so the very first and very common type is a nucleotide database nucleotide sequence database nucleotide sequence database uh, that contains genes and also genome okay genes and genomes both then what we have we have protein databases protein sequences protein sequence in the database form okay then what we what else we have we have macromolecule structures macromolecules particularly the structure like carbohydrates proteins lipids all this what else we have we have a protein protein interaction very important to understand the protein protein interaction to study the pathways those databases are there we also have so let's write metabolic pathways okay so there are different types of numerous metabolic pathways continuing inside of a cell and we have database for that we also have database for gene expression and profiling gene expression database and we also have literature literature okay example of literature we have already talked about pubmed is an example and there are books available in some places but these are the database that carry information okay so database carry information and there is a way uh, so let me take a green color here there is a way to put the data in so feeding the data in and there is also a way to take the data out or extract the data okay so data feeding or input as well as extract both are possible okay and the amount of data that we are dealing with it's increasing day by day with increasing in number of experiments on specific topics the data set that we are expecting is also to be increased okay it's increasing every single day so what we are getting from here is that huge amount of data be it nucleotide sequence protein sequence macromolecule structure protein protein interaction all these different kinds of data and this data need to be placed somewhere in this database there is a way to put the data in there is a way to extract it we have discussed that uh, earlier as well but for forming a biological database it must carry it must have some feature a must have feature there are two must have two must have what i can say two must have features are needed two must have features are needed what are those one is non redundancy non redundancy now what is this now there should not be any redundancy or if there is a redundancy the value of redundancy is very very low that means whenever we put something into this database okay it occurs only once means there should not be any duplicate entry in the same database so 
no duplicacy or you can say no duplicate entry when we are putting the information in there must not be any duplicate entry that is called non redundancy now we try to minimize this redundancy to as low as possible non redundancy is the criteria that we want to achieve but it's not possible always so we always try to go with a low very low redundancy near to non redundancy this is very first feature the second important feature is sharing of the data okay data sharing protocol so basically the database is what it's a reservoir of data reservoir of experimental data scientific data which is actually gathered and stored for the use of science itself for the for the use of exploration of the science itself okay for examination inspection or so basically this sharing of the data is important it it means that if this is the database for example the network of data data is inside and we say the data is locked the data is locked you cannot access the data you can see the data but you cannot modify if the data has some misinformation or any uh, mistakes that should not be a scientific idea that is a non scientific idea and science is progressive it always uh, explains things from different angles and also the thinking is progressive so we can say that in database whatever data is present the data must be available for sharing so that we can examine the data we can inspect the data and so there is no there shouldn't be any locked data the data must be free to deal with because let's say there are few scientists a group of 30 scientists 30 researchers they put some data in the database uh, with a dna sequence for example a dna sequencing data and then later after 5 years some other group of scientists and researchers are doing the same work they are working with the data they find something uh, wrong about the earlier data so they can update it there should be a room to do that that is data sharing okay so what we can tell about a database is a collection of data which is normally structured searchable updatable periodically that is known as a database so reservoir of biological data but which is more structurally organized which is searchable and which is updated periodically will be termed as a progressive biological database or simply as a biological database got it this is what biological database is now let's talk about the classification of biological database biological database classification there are different types of database okay so let me give you an idea about the database types here we have sequence database sequence database i am writing short form db means database okay then we have structural database structural database and what else we have 3d structure base 